Today we are going to discuss Peter and the Wolf, directed by Susie Templeton, which is a British-Polish short puppet movie from 2006. It is a movie adaptation of a symphonic fairy tale by a Russian composer Sergei Prokofiev. It was created in 1936 and first played in Moscow Philharmonic. It is a very complex musical story, in which one instrument represents one character. A flute represents a bird, an oboe a duckling, a clarinet a cat, a horn a wolf, a string quartet Peter, and drums represent hunters. Prokofiev was a composer, a pianist, and a conductor. Among others, he composed opera music, ballet, symphonic music, and piano pieces. Apart from this, he also composed theater and film music. He wrote music for the two really important Russian movies which are Alexander Nevsky and Ivan the Terrible. The two movies were made by one of the most important Russian directors ever, who is Sergei Eisenstein. But what brought Prokofiev fame was the movie Peter and the Wolf. Remember about that. Let me tell you a funny story connected with Sergei Prokofiev. It is actually connected with the circumstances of his death. He died on the 5th of March in 1953, which is the same day when Joseph Stalin has died, the leader of Soviet Union. Do you remember from a video about 89 millimeters from Europe, how is Soviet Union abbreviated in Polish? Stalin's death attracted the whole world attention. So Prokofiev's death went almost unnoticed and because of Stalin's state funeral service, Prokofiev's couldn't be conducted. The funny story I want to tell you is connected with the head of Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra, Grzegorz Fittelberg. One day after the death, after arriving to a rehearsal, Fittelberg gave a long commemorative speech for Prokofiev and he requested one minute silence. After that, he asked the concertmaster Władysław Wochniak, Władziu, is it true that Stalin died? Peter and the Wolf, which was directed in Semaphore Studio in Łódź, was awarded many significant and prestigious awards. In 2007, it got an Oscar for Best Short Animated Movie. Apart from that, it was awarded a Golden Rose Award for Best Program in the category Best Performing Arts Program. For the combination of movie and live music at the Festival Rose Door in 2007. Taking shots took more than eight months, but preparations lasted three years. And it was made in Łódź Film Center and in Semaphore Studio also in Łódź. A 22 meters long and 16 meters wide forest was built for the movie. A film crew had over 120 members. The movie was a co-production between Semaphore and the British company Breakthrough and with the cooperation of Norwegian studio Storm and with financial help from Channel 4. In Poland, the movie was also fin financially supported by Polish Film Institute. The puppets, decorations, shots and photo editing, all of them were prepared and performed in Poland. Scenography was designed by, among others, Marek Skorbecki, who also worked on Steven Spielberg movie Schindler's List and on many animated movies. Marek Skorbecki is also the director of Danny Boy, which will be discussed in our next video. Thanks to it and his movie, Echtis, Fish, Susie Templeton decided to start cooperation with Semaphore Studio. So thanks to Marek Skorbecki, the Peter and the Wolf were done in Semaphore Studio. What is the movie about? A little boy, Peter, living together with his granddad in the middle of nowhere, has to face a dangerous wolf. He does it with the help from a bird and a duck, who are his friends. Peter is a character who undergoes transformation as the plot unfolds. He becomes wiser and braver. It is a movie without words. It speaks to us through music played by London Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Mark Stevenson. It is a story which is both a little funny and a little scary. I hope you will like this amazing movie. Enjoy and looking forward to hearing you next time.